Hey everyone, I'm Robin VR, and welcome to the first episode of VR Review, my weekly rapid virtual news wrap-up. I did say rapid, so let's get right to it. This week, Jaunt announced a six-part documentary series with legendary Beatles member Paul McCartney called Pure McCartney VR. It's being directed by Tony Kay of American History X, so even if you're not into McCartney, it should be pretty interesting. WorldViz brings warehouse-scale tracking to VR headsets. Apparently, WorldViz can do millimeter-level tracking in a space as large as 50 meters by 50 meters, or about 164 feet by 164 feet, and can track up to 10 people or objects, and has integration with Unity and Unreal game engines. Not something for the home with its $15,000 price tag, but maybe something to update your local laser tag center. VR demos coming to hundreds of GameStop stores. Pretty straightforward. Great news if you have one of the larger stores near you. There's mention of HTC Vive and PlayStation VR demos. Nothing of Oculus Rift. Not really a lot of specifics overall, but it's something to look forward to in the future. Altspace VR announces front row live event technology. Allspace VR's individual spaces apparently max out at about 100 users, and what Front Row does is mirrors certain individuals across multiple spaces so more people can see a performance, uh, potentially scaling up to 40,000 users. At the Reggie Watts live comedy show this week, 1,200 people were able to see him perform at once before they started running into issues, and that's pretty amazing. I will make one point I didn't see anyone cover, that while 1,200 users could see Reggie, he's only live in a room with 90 or so people. So if he interacted with an audience member in his space, most people would only see half of that interaction. But again, still pretty amazing. So some bad news this week over at Magic Leap, the company that will definitely be bringing us virtual whales any year now. They're suing two former employees, Gary Bradsky, Senior Vice President of Advanced Perception and Intelligence, and Adrian Keeler, Vice President of Technology Solutions, for allegedly violating intellectual property agreements, breach of contract, misappropriating trade secrets, and using company resources to develop plans for a new company. Yikes. Allegedly. But definitely keep an eye on this story. Okay, that's all the news I have for this week. Subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you think I missed a big story for the week, let me know in the comments below and maybe we can add them to next week's show. Have a good one.